plywood prices slashed like a hot knife through butter. Well, it's really dropping and it's seriously dropping um, two weeks in a row. The, uh, I'm kind of a, a glass half full kind of guy. So uh, for the past year, at, like on this chart I had drawn, drawn uh, a week or two ago, futures prices were somewhere around $400 per thousand board feet. They went up to eight, down to five, all the way up to $1,700. The prices here, they were incremental. They were like a dollar a week, $2 a week. They weren't uh, 10 or $15 a week. However, when it hit in, uh, I think it was the end of June, the price dropped like a lot. Just the bottom fell right out of it. I think we, we talked about the big boys left the room kind of thing. So we're starting to, I'm starting to see plywood and lumber drop drastically. Uh, a lot of people in the video I did last questioned my integrity, maybe. <laughs> they said it's not dropping here, it's not dropping here. Um, lumber yards are different all across the country, around the world. Here, if you, if you go to... Uh, one of the big box stores, I'm not naming names, in Littleton, New Hampshire, you can verify what my prices are on their site. There's only a couple of big box stores there, so it should be easy to find. This week, it dropped, and it dropped again it, from a high of $82 two weeks ago. It dropped to $69. It's just over 60, uh, 60 just under $61 a sheet for 5 8 CDX plywood. That's pretty doggone exciting. And then also um, a 2 by 4 8 spruce has dropped. It's dropped down to uh, 582 per stick from what was a high here of $8.25. That's a lot of money coming down. I am not going to be buying still I just want to make that clear. People are thinking I'm jumping on the bandwagon to start buying lumber. It's still ridiculously high, but it's coming down. And it, according to this, from what I've been told by people, it, just, it takes a while to, for the uh, old stock to run through the lumber yards, apparently, to get down to a decent lower price which is down in the four or five hundred dollar thousand board foot range so i'm hoping that's uh it, i think it's going to be within a month or two it looks like the way it's the trend is going i'm sure it's dropped bit it's dropped uh 21 dollars in two weeks a sheet of plywood that's what i was paying 20 dollars a sheet a year 14 15 months ago anyway so it's still a long ways to go. And I still have to use up the rest of my inventory that I paid 40 bucks a sheet before I turn around and want to buy anything more. I hope this is encouraging to you because it's dropped, finally, substantially. Uh, that's 25% anyway, that it's dropped in two weeks. So anyway, I'm feeling really good, positive about what this is doing. It's gonna be a nice, rest of the summer as far as being, I think, encouraged. One other thing, while I'm rambling, uh, rental equipment. I've rented quite a bit of equipment this year and it's been flatline for over a year. It has not gone up a, a dime here anyway. I don't know if your experience has been the same or not. Uh, concrete cost has gone up in 18 months, $3, $3 a yard, cubic yard. So my cost is at 139 now, it was at 136 last year. So that's, they go up every year. They're pretty, pretty uh, standard as far as their kind of, I don't know, I guess it's inflation increase or whatever they do, but that's what they do. So thanks, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to leave a comment. Thanks. Today I'm going to show you how I built a ladder hoist. 
had a lot of requests for these on uh, on YouTube of other ladder hoists I've built. Um, they are just such a labor saver. Uh, so I'm just I just like to just show you what it is step by step how to put one together. The first thing we started out with was a 32 foot ladder. We took one section. Uh, the bottom section, the one with the feet. It's rated for 300 pounds. Let's see if you can see that. I think that cost me around $290. Where we're going to start first is up at the top. You can see we cut the, uh, the first rung off. The reason we cut this top rung off, uh, we're going to mount a, a square tubing across the top. This is, a, this is a ladder hoist I already had built. I'm taking it apart and I'm servicing it. So we have, it's actually an eighth inch by eighth inch square uh, steel tube. I ended up cutting, that, cutting off some of it and folding up for a flap. So that we go on like that mounted a uh, I don't know what you call these the the tubing was maybe uh, ten dollars there's another one that goes down on the bottom but then there's this uh, one of these <laughs> I'm not very technical but this is where we started. Drill some holes. I like to use these washers with the, the, the uh, nylon inside, it locks it in really well. I'll tighten these in a minute. Then there's a shiv that will go on there, and then a cable is going to connect to that. This is the winch. Um, it was around $115. Uh, it's rated to lift 880 pounds with the, with the cable doubled. It comes with a bracket. You can see it's used. It, it got broke. Broken, uh, getting dragged around. Sometimes we weren't careful. But anyway, put these on. In order to attach the hoist, we had to drill two holes on each side. And we have these U-bolts. I think that's what they're called. They wrap around the rung so that's extra extra strength there. to be a really good tight fit. It's a little awkward to handle here. Fits in there really well, it's snug. I like the nylon inside of these nuts, they really hold the hold it well. And 
And on to the next step. And the next step is running the cable and all the way up through here. table and the sliding part that goes on the section of ladder that we've mounted the motor to. This is left over from, or it's the other section of the ladder. We cut it um, one section, I think it's about 30 inches long. Yeah, 31. Then another section up here was 19 inches. And we have these angle irons that come up this way. They're about two feet long. We have this U-bolt that the hook from the, the hoist is going to connect to and so when you run the motor it's going to pull this up the track. I wanted to just show you this. It's called a shoulder washer. It has uh, bearings inside. I think that's three-eighths of an inch. And then I had to experiment with washers to get the right so that the uh, so it slides well inside of the ladder. Now we'll put it on. See how it goes. So now we've made the connection, should be all set. I'll see if I can, oh, we still have to put the wheels on. The wheels were about $9 each. I took a threaded rod, that's probably a couple dollars. I think it's two feet long. Just made a plywood block. So we can slide it through the bottom rung. Deeper angle. I'm, I don't know if it'll flow well here or not. I think it will. There it is. I have a couple of videos I'll, I'll just put on so you can see kind of what, what it looks like out in the field. Thanks for watching.